So the Premier League has been cancelled after Her Majesty's death. The match weeks this weekend will be postponed. However, with the funeral next weekend, the following weekend's matches will be postponed, which is no football for two weeks. And then you've got to think there's a two week international break. So we're looking at no football for over a month because of the international break. All the Premier League matches will be postponed. Um, the one next weekend isn't confirmed if it's postponed, but it believed it will be postponed because of the funeral. So I'm a United fan. Our next match obviously will be Sheriff on Thursday. If that is not postponed, the Europa League and Champions League games are still going ahead. But our next match in the Premier League will be October 2nd versus Manchester City. Now, if you want my personal opinion, I think it's a poor decision by the Premier League. The government actually said you don't need to cancel or postpone your games. It's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do. And they still decided to cancel or postpone the games, which I think was the wrong decision with the World Cup coming up, with the international rates coming up. How are you going to fit it in? It's not fair on the players. But also, you know, rest in peace to the Queen. I, um, the Queen served our country absolutely brilliantly. But I think what a way to pay respect to her, a full stadium singing the national anthem, clapping for her. You know, if people are going to work, if people are going to school, then why can't people go to the football? Football brings people together, OK? All sing in the stadium for the Queen, all mourn the Queen together. Those people who aren't going to the football, are just probably going to slob around in bed. or not really do much now because the football's not on. Um, so I personally think it, it's a poor decision, I think that you should have kept the football on when the King died, they kept the football on and you know I think the Premier League will probably regret that because they're now going to have to reschedule those two, three matches as well. Um, so yeah, obviously I don't know what the content will be like over the next couple of weeks with the lack of football, but we'll try um, daily videos as well. I will be live tonight though to talk about the uh, Real Sociedad game, which I'm not too happy with, but obviously RIP the Queen, I am really sad that the Queen has died, she served this country for 70 plus years, no matter how you feel about the monarchy, I think everyone could agree that the Queen gave everything to this country and she was a brilliant woman and she will be missed as well, but I felt, as far as things stand, United have got a match against Sheriff and then you're not going to see United again to October after we play Manchester City, let me know your thoughts on the matches being postponed, it's been confirmed this weekend there's no matches, next weekend it's not been confirmed that they're postponed yet but with the funeral going on it seems to be the case at least Eric Tenor can win that manager of the month award this is a really short two minute update video to let you guys know the news and to keep you guys updated yeah bye